What's going on people? So welcome to the video. Thanks for clicking on. So today as you probably seen from the thumbnail, as you wouldn't have clicked the video, we're going to talk about apple cider vinegar. Is it really as good for you as they say? Is it really going to help you lose weight? Does it really help with your sugar levels? We're about to find out. Intro. <laughs> Okay people, so before I begin, I think it's useful if I just explain what apple cider vinegar is. Ta-da! So this is basically apple cider vinegar. Okay, so here we just basically says organic, because you know that's healthy, raw unfiltered apple cider vinegar with the mother. Now, I'm not just making that up. The mother is in here. So what is the mother? The mother is basically this little, I'm not sure if I can focus this, but let's have a go. You see that? It's basically like um, somebody basically just cut their hair, opened the bottle, and shoved in some of their hair and then left it just to kind of ferment for a few days. So the mother is that. And it actually apparently used to be like a sort of, um, you know when you get something stuck in the sink and you know, you pull it out, it, it kind of looks like that. So anyway, the mother, and apparently this has got some probiotic and prebiotic properties to it. Done the research? It doesn't. Okay, so putting all that aside, I'm just gonna explain quickly what it is. All it is, is a bunch of apples that squeeze together in some sort of juice, squeeze it, squeeze it, squeeze it. Then I think you add some yeast, um, which ferments the natural sugars in the apple, and then you add some bacteria, which kind of forms like the acidic properties of it. So basically the vinegar, but um, obviously if you try to write that there, it probably wouldn't make any sense. So hence why they just called it apple cider vinegar with the mother. So, it helps with fat loss. Now, funnily enough, there's only actually one, I don't know why I do that, one study that actually looked at this. So what they did is they had three um, separate groups that I think it was in Japan. I'll have all of this sort of information just flying around in the background somewhere, this way, maybe this way, we'll see. So in this actual study, there was actually a slight difference in relation to weight loss, but again, there's a couple of variables that we need to look at. Firstly, they were all obese in the first instance. And secondly, in relation to recording their information, they were using MyFitnessPal. And if you're anything like me, if you don't use MyFitnessPal, it doesn't count. So I'm not really too kind of convinced with that. Another thing is, I've tried it. And as you can see, I've tried quite a bit of it. So you're looking at almost the whole bottle. And to be honest, my body fat percentage is didn't change so yeah I don't know if that works okay so the next point is that it lowers blood sugar levels now looking at the research again I'm a little skeptical because there's nothing really concrete stating that it does however it does have a slight positive impact on those with diabetes or insulin insensitivity let's try that again with insulin insensitivity already so for anyone that's you know got a normal thyroid Thyroid? What am I saying? Let's let's just let's just. Okay, so blood sugar levels. Now, what we found in the research is that it basically works more with those that are diabetic or have problems with their insulin sensitivity. Got it. So, for anyone that's functioning normal in respect to that, there's actually no real difference in relation to their blood sugar levels. Also, what was quite interesting is that it actually works better with complex. So, I mean, if you really wanted to lower your blood sugar levels, you ideally want to look at simple sugars. And as it doesn't do that, I mean, what's the point of it? So, for me personally, I am totally on the fence. But what I always like to do is, one, I like to obviously have a bit of science behind it. And two, I like to try stuff for myself. So, I've done this previously with vegan diets. And I've just done this now, forcing this down. Now, my honest opinion, science aside, this absolutely tastes like shit. Secondly, it's quite bad for your teeth. So the contents in it can actually erode the enamel on your teeth. So even trying to chug this down, you've got to make sure that you only pour a little bit of water with it because trying to drink it by itself is just completely a no-go. You've got to chug it kind of like a Sambuca or a tequila shot, um, which, you know, it's, it's one of the last things you want to do at seven o'clock in the morning. But I've tried it, I've seen no actual benefits. Obviously I haven't measured my resting um, blood sugar levels, but I hope that they're all fine. But in terms of fat loss and stuff, to me it's just another fat. You wanna lose fat, then yeah, you've gotta look at your training, your sleep, your hydration, and of course, your calories, as I preach with all of my videos. So if anyone's trying to say this, just be a little bit skeptical, I mean, look at them. Do you really trust them? 
if you ask me, they look a little bit too, um, a little bit too happy. Uh, Mr. Paul C and Patricia Bragg. Sorry guys, just don't trust you. So that's the end of this video. Hopefully, you know, some of you aren't going through what I've been through in the last few months and having to drink this. I would certainly save your teeth. You don't want to fall out. I would concentrate on your calories and all the other stuff that I preach in my videos, which you can see on my channel. And um, yeah, save yourself um, down in shots in the morning. If you are taking this yourself actually, comment down below. Let me know if you've actually found um, any sort of benefits or um, what your thoughts are on it. I'd be interested to know from the community. But as always people, at this stage of the video, I'd be really grateful if you could hit that thumbs up, subscribe if you're new to the channel. And as always people, thanks for watching.